When I was in high school, back in the pre-YouTube and pre-social media days, I used to go to the library every single morning before classes started, and I would print out anything and everything I would get my hands on about guitar. I would print out interviews with my favorite guitar players, articles about technique, practicing, music theory, and soloing and improvising, you name it. Then I'd take that big stack of papers and carry them around with me from class to class throughout the day, putting them inside my school books so I could read them while the class was going on, making it look like I was studying. Then one day, one of the kids in my geometry class stopped by my desk and apparently he saw something I was reading and he said, oh, you play guitar? Oh, you're reading about improvising? I was like, yeah. He says, why do you improvise? That means you don't know what you're doing. That was my first exposure to a whole world of guitar playing stigmas, things that people believe in that hold them back for no good reason. Things like you have to start playing on an acoustic guitar before you can graduate your way to an electric guitar, or things like distortion hides your mistakes, which is a stupid statement I've debunked many times on this channel, or the thing I started hearing more and more when I got into technical guitar playing, which is legato is cheating, and if you want to play fast, really fast, you got to pick every note, otherwise it doesn't count. Now fortunately, as years went by, I got wiser and I realized that all of these stigmas are pretty much BS. However, I have discovered something that I do think is the closest thing to cheating, if you will, on guitar. And that thing is reason 937 why you should take every mention of a guitar player's top speed online with a big grain of your preferred seasoning. Mine is lemon pepper, by the way. Because very often people quote the top speed of their cheater's technique. And by that I mean the top speed of their tremolo picking. AKA how fast you can bang on one string while fretting only one note. <laughs> Apparently this is the thing some teachers tell you, like you've got to max out your tremolo picking speed to figure out your absolute speed potential as it were, or to figure out what your picking hand motions should be at higher tempos. And some even tell you to do this first before you focus on any of the other elements of fast playing. Now look, of course I'm being kind of silly and tongue in cheek here, nothing on guitar is literally cheating if you can do it. If you can tremolo pick at 3000 notes a minute, more power to you. I can't do that, that's impressive as hell. But unless you are auditioning for a Dragon Forest cover band or something and you actually need to use both hands to play the notes like this. Then focusing on tremolo picking exclusively or for a long time before you focus on other elements of speed is not going to do much to help you play those kinds of licks. Here's why. As far as needing to optimize your tremolo picking motions or max out your tremolo picking speed first before you worry about the fretting hand or start practicing seriously the other elements of guitar speed, well, no, that's not the case at all. In fact, it's pretty counterproductive. Now, I don't claim to be a scientist or anything, as my mentor Tom Hess would say, I just play guitar, but I do know this. In science, you can't prove something to be true with 100% certainty. You can only disprove something from being true. And the way you disprove something from being true is by finding examples where the thing being argued is not present, but people are still getting the results. So in my case, I was already able to pick at around 900 notes a minute with scales and scale sequences before I seriously analyzed anything that was happening in my tremolo picking technique. And I've also met a whole bunch of guitar players who can play just as fast as me or faster. I've seen them play up close like this. I've asked them all kinds of questions about how they develop their speed. And guess what? Not one of them mentioned tremolo picking or focusing on it exclusively in any way, much less early on in their playing. So even though focusing on your tremolo picking and picking hand in isolation first, seems like it would make logical sense. In practice, it doesn't really hold any water for me and I would remain skeptical of people making that claim. Second, tremolo picking is ultra efficient in ways that regular picking can never be. When you go back and forth just banging on one note, then your pick is basically staying in contact with both sides of the string after each pick stroke. It's a motor pattern that you're trying to optimize to do tremolo picking fast, which is perfectly fine as far as that goes. But when it comes to changing strings, much less doing string skipping like, in, like I was playing, there are a whole lot of other micro motions you have to learn, like how to change strings, how to skip strings cleanly without hitting the string you're trying to avoid. If you don't focus on those micro motions and you just focus on tremolo picking for let's say three to six months, then all you do is you optimize one motor pattern and develop glaring weaknesses in the other ones that are gonna make your playing completely out of balance. That's not even taking into account your fretting hand, your synchronization, your ability to stay relaxed when you play, all that good stuff. All of that is also part of playing guitar fast. Finally, tremolo picking gives you a very false and skewed idea of how fast you really are. And this is bad for two reasons. Let's say your top speed with tremolo picking is 600 notes a minute, and your top speed with playing a scale sequence and syncing both hands up is 400 notes a minute, and you're trying to speed up that scale sequence. So you may have heard that you gotta slow things down and build speed with the metronome slowly, and so what do most people do. They reference what slow practice means relative to their absolute top speed, which in this example is 600 notes a minute. So you may slow down to like 380 or 370 thinking, oh dude, I'm going really slow. 
But if you compare that to your 400 notes a minute real life top speed with that scale sequence, that's like 90% or faster. So if you spend too much time maximizing your tremolo picking speed, all you do is you're widening the gap between your real life usable speed that actually matters on the licks you're actually trying to speed up and some theoretical top speed that's like out in the alternate universe that doesn't really matter. Not to mention if you compare your top speed of playing that scale sequence of 400 notes a minute to somebody else's tremolo picking speed that's let's say 600, 700, 800 notes a minute, then you're just gonna feel bad about your playing and your progress for no reason whatsoever. So two lessons to take home here. First of all, because it's impossible to not compare yourself to other guitar players, no matter how much you hear other people tell you not to do it. When you do compare yourself to other people, at least compare apples to apples. If you're comparing your top speed to somebody else's top speed, at least find comparable licks to compare speed on. Don't compare your pentatonic scale top speed, which is gonna be always much slower, to somebody else's tremolo picking top speed and then start feeling bad about yourself because you are comparing apples to watermelons. Secondly, if you've been hyper-focused only on your picking hand or your tremolo picking, hello, you've got your other hand too, focus on that. Focus on your synchronization, focus on all the other elements of fast playing, and I promise you, your speed will improve much faster and it'll sound a lot better. If you want more help from me on building your guitar speed, check out the link in the description of this video. Go to the page on the screen right now. I'm gonna show you a free one hour masterclass called Guitar Speed Formula. What it is, is a new way to practice to build guitar speed where you don't have to start slowly and gradually build speed in small increments because that way doesn't really work nearly as well as everybody claims that it does. If you already know that for yourself, if you wanna know a different way, check out that link, enter your email address, I'll send you the video for free. And speaking of focusing on other elements of your guitar technique, did you know that your fretting hand thumb is perhaps the single biggest culprit behind your guitar technique and speed problems? If you didn't, watch this video right here where I talk about the role your thumb plays in your guitar technique, and I show you simple ways to optimize your thumb position to make anything and everything you play feel a whole lot easier. Watch it next.